is me back again. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm getting over a respiratory infection. Um, guys, obviously noticed that I haven't made videos uh, in a few weeks, two months, maybe three months now, um, because you know I haven't had an SD card, and then I broke my phone. Um, and on top of all that, I mean, I've had the new SD card and phone for like a week now, I think. Uh, and then I just procrastinated it because I really don't know really what I'm going to talk about. Um, but I guess some updates. Um, I've been working more hours. Um, like a lot more hours <laughs> at a new place um so many more hours like three four times you know, so many more hours than I was before and that's fun uh making some pretty good money through that um enough to buy myself uh enough to buy myself this um I just like showing it off my mom named it Miss Rosie, so everybody meet Miss Rosie. Uh, actually, this is not the bong and the bowl that came with it. Um, that one broke in half. Literally, it's in two pieces over there. Um, also, I have this stuff, and it's really neat. It's like these little drops. You put like directly, you can put it on your herb, um, you can put it in your bong water, uh, you can put it on your cigarettes, you can flavor other stuff with it too, but I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to smoke with it. And it like flavors your shit. My favorite is whipped cream. I also have lavender, vanilla, bubblegum, raspberry, and watermelon, and they all taste really good. And I love it. And I just thought I'd share that. I swear it's not sponsored. Um... Back in my weed box. My weed box. I'm out of weed. I've been out of weed for like three weeks now. It's really sad. Um, yeah. So, things have been better, but in some ways, like, still really rough. Um, I've been trying to, like, I don't know. The, in the back of my head, like, I'm trying to, like, block everything out that's bad going on. Um, you know, when I'm working, I'm just, like, completely not even attached to I'm just completely detached from reality when I'm working. You could walk up to me and I would be like... I just talk kind of... Anyway, um... We moved the cats in finally. It was a $350 deposit to move in the cats, but we've got them now. That's very nice. They're horrible. I love them, but they're horrible. My cat did, I don't know if you can see it, she clawed the hell out of me. There. And somewhere else over here. Um, because I went to put her in the hallway this morning as we were trying to walk out the door because she pew, runs out the door. Um, so there's that, and yeah, I don't know what to talk about. So, I have, um, on my old SD card now, I have all the footage from the Kesha concert I went to, and eventually, <laughs> eventually I'm gonna put it together and, like, do something with it. But, for now, it is what it is, it's just sit kind of sitting there. It's just kind of sitting there, do collecting dust. Um, but it was a fun night. I got a new guitar, and uh, I'm learning how to play that, so my fingertips are numb. And I really, <laughs> really don't know what to talk about in this video. That's why I've been putting it off. Um, <clears throat> my brother's birthday is today.
No, um, my oldest brother, he's a jackass. He's an entitled SOB, uh, uh you know. I don't want to go to his party. My mom wants me to go to his birthday party, but I really don't want to at all. Like, no. <laughs> um, I went down to see family in the country this weekend. And one of the problems that I have been <clears throat> pushing to the back of my mind, trying not to think of it, you know, came, became, came out of the woodwork, I guess, and, uh, it's really hard to think about or talk about. Um, two of my little nieces that I've wa I watched grow up, um, They were taken into the foster system, um, either in 2016 or 2017, uh, for some stuff, um, that wasn't their, their mom or their grandmother's fault, but <clears throat> their mom can't get them back and their grandmother isn't allowed to see them. It's really fucked up and I haven't seen them in a really long time. And that trip this weekend to go see their grandmother really, like, brought that. I'm thinking about it a lot. I'm thinking about them a lot. And I really miss them. And <clears throat> when they've put one of them into a group home and the other one into a foster family. And it just makes me think of my brother and me when we were kids <clears throat> being separated like that and it's just I miss them a lot you know I used to go over there as often as possible and I just adore them so much they're such pretty they were such pretty children they were so sweet and insane <clears throat> and one of them is 14 and the other one I think she said she's 10 now they were just growing up and I not they're growing up and the fam their family doesn't get to be there for that they don't get to be with their family and <sighs> makes me really <laughs> Makes me really sad, obviously. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I really, I've been in a place, you know, maybe not in a bad place, but not really in a good place. Just kind of feel stuck and not in control of anything. And it's kind of hard. You know, working all the time is, like, tiring, of course, and it feels like, I mean, I know I'm making a good money. It feels like I'm just stuck working all the time, not really accomplishing anything, just doing the same thing every day. Um, you know, I know I've got to go back to school and get my last credit, or my last half credit, and then I've got to, I guess I've got to get some sort of an education. The idea of going back to school is physically repulsive. And, uh, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I want to do with my life. Um, and I kind of know if I wind up in a profession where I'm just doing the same thing over and over again and not really doing anything important or meaningful or or even something that's just not repetitive repetitive always doing the same thing never making any progress really i know that's gonna like not it's gonna leave me not satisfied with anything but i guess that's just how the world works you know um 
Yeah, this is somehow turned into a 10 minute long video. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of wanted you guys to know where I am, you know, why um, I'm, I haven't been making videos. Um, I'm going to try to get back into making videos, but honestly, I, I don't know what to talk about. I don't even know what I care about anymore. I'm just kind of stuck. Um, I guess <clears throat> comment uh, if there's something you want me to talk about or if you follow my Tumblr or my Instagram, which I will link. Um, you can send me a DM or comment on something or send me an ask of anything you'd like to see me talk about on this channel. Um, honestly, it'll probably be like first, first come first serve in terms of topics. Um, just because I just don't have any ideas, you know, I'll probably just be like, oh, the first idea that came in, look at that. Um, yeah, all right, so I think that's about it, you know, about updates. Well, I got a chair, I got, I got a chair. So, yeah, I know I'm not wearing pants. Um, my only piece of furniture is a chair. I don't even have a bed, but... Oh, and I got a bike. Uh, so there's that. I'm trying to stay healthy. I went on a bike ride until I started throwing up the other day. Just to get out and be doing anything that wasn't... This. Or not, not this, this, but like existing in this place. Um my mom's habit of collecting things that she doesn't need has started and it kind of has started driving me insane so yeah i'm just trying to get out of the house i'm trying to do anything really anything that um can distract me so yeah sorry i went off topic again just comment or ask or something anything you want to see in a future video um, yeah.